Hi, Living Violet fam. This is Brianna coming at you with another tutorial. And I have these braids in for about three months now, as you've seen in my other videos. I'm freshening up for my cruise trip and I'm making them into faux locks. Then I used the Kiss Precision Nail Glue. Oh, my bad. <laughs> then I used the Kiss Precision Nail Glue at the end of the wrap. And once I apply that, I just go ahead and roll the lock. Because this is my first time creating faux locks, I'm reinforcing the wrap with a lighter. I just hope that I'm not burning my own hair, but that's why I'm doing that so it doesn't unravel. these are the braids from my last video I wanted a new look for my crew so I decided to use my old braiding hair which actually worked I just used this hair with no Marley hair and I also wrapped them around without latching them and without any rubber bands As you can see, I'm using several inches of the tail of the hair so I can line it up with my braid and then wrap around my root. I first began to wrap the braid as closest to the scalp around the root and then I began to wrap the rest of it down the braid. Because I'm a novice at faux locks, it took me some time to actually get used to wrapping around a braid, but after some time, it really wasn't too, too difficult. The technique is overlapping the braiding hair. So if you want smooth lock and that it doesn't unravel and also to, to do it tightly. So right now I'm just checking the smoothness of it and making sure it's uh, blending well. To complete the lock, I continue to wrap down the end of the braid, leaving out the tress hair. And once I am done wrapping the hair all the way around, I will glue it and or secure it with the flame of the lighter. The wrap of my locks weren't perfect, but I was okay with it because it gave it a natural look. And now I'm going to explain the colors of my hair. So I have my old braiding hair, which was 33, 30, and number two. To frame my face, I use the 33, which is the reddish brown, and then the 30, which is like the blonde. I strictly use the 33 and the two in the back for the dark colors. So that's how I was able to highlight and frame my face. I want to show you the process on how I highlight my face. I selected the color, uh, in this case I did the 30, and um, I will select each braid to see which one will be aesthetically pleasing. So I chose that braid. Um, the other one I probably used uh, 33, but I want to assure that no matter what style I, use, I wore, like whether it's all to the side, a part, or a part in the middle, that it will all be aesthetically pleasing to the eye and it'll blend well to the darker parts of the back. This is a Chucky Beat production. production.
my wrap hair is getting short so i'm going to show you how i use extra hair to add so that i can continue down the tip of my braid so with this hair i go ahead and loop it through and then i start to wrap the hair along the tip of that loop to blend it in and once i go down like i guess like four wraps then i integrate the rest of that long hair so that it can have a continuous type of lock <laughs> A little disclaimer about the glue, please try not to use the glue too close to the ends of your natural hair. It may cause some damage. Otherwise, um, when I was rolling my dread, um, I should have wore some gloves because I hated the cast that it left on my hands. Right now, I'm selecting the next braid for the next color. I may use 30 uh, for this particular braid and <laughs> I'm just seeing how it contrasts against my hair along with the other braids as well. With the placement of color I just went how I felt. <laughs> so whatever looks good on how I thought it looked good, that's how I placed the highlights within the front of my braids so go about what you think looks good on you um the, with the placement of color and everything your intuition will pretty much tell you what you look good So now I'm getting towards the end of my process. I'm almost done. I'm going to finish out my locks and then show you the results. If you're interested in the process of how I got my goddess ends and how it's tailing, uh, you can reference my last braiding video. Otherwise, it was with 26 inch hair and I think it turned out really nice. Hey, Lynn and Violet fam. So I had my dreads for almost a month and I just wanted to show an update. Excuse, you know, I did not really prepare for this video. I just wanted to show how it's holding up. I did have like some unraveling after the uh, trip, but they're still holding up pretty good and it's um, mid. December right now, it's uh, December 22nd. And my trip was uh, December 1st. I put these in the week before. So it was like before the Thanksgiving, I had these in. These are my jewels. I made them myself. They're just uh, wire beads that I wrapped them around the back of the braid. And I had those in too. The last two weeks. Okay, so
and another one another bonus video this is my phone and how i edit my videos on q cut pro no this is not a sponsored video um, i just wanted to show you that this is a class that i was thinking to put on patreon and uh, just show you how i put in emojis and words um, how I cut in music and videos. And if this is something that um, everybody is interested in, I mean, leave a comment below. But otherwise, um, I may have this type of class up pretty soon on how I edit my videos on my, on my iPhone uh, through the app Cute Cut Pro.